Gavin, thank you. Hi, John. Excuse how me. Do you, how do you assess the game? Uh, is that what you deserved or is that what you deserved more? Oh, look, from, well, from that first half an hour, you say Switzerland uh, were a much a better outfit in terms of uh, their control of the game. And we were kind of a little bit caught where we didn't want to be in terms of half spaces, not fully committed. And then obviously towards the end of the first half, excuse me, not uh, that's the wrong word in terms of fully committed. We were fully committed, but in terms of the organisation of how we wanted to be aggressive against them. And we did that towards the end of the first half. And thankfully, because we what we spoke about at half time to what we saw in the second half was, uh, pardon my language, that was uh, really pleasing to see because it was that attitude and commitment and quality to cause Switzerland problems that I wanted to see in the second half. And we did that. And the changes we made, I was happy with in terms of their intensity, their attitude to it. Um, and obviously having that intent to cause Switzerland problems in the second half, which I felt we did. And look, obviously the last couple of minutes, you're leaving yourself a little bit open, but I think amazing defending as well from uh, Seamus, Nathan and Dara, uh, getting blocks in, getting back in and then giving us a chance to go and create again. Um, so look, you'd say, like I spoke to the players about beforehand and beforehand against Belgium too, that's the level you want to be competing at to qualify for major tournaments. Belgium, Switzerland qualify for major tournaments year after year after year. So you have to compete, you have to be clinical and we weren't clinical enough in the two games. So that's something obviously we have to really nail down in terms of taking chances, making that decision in terms of controlling it, the right pass, the right time and uh, being really clinical and getting back to winning games again. Are you disappointed that, especially in the second half, that you didn't create more chances and didn't work their goalkeeper a bit more. Yeah, well, that's that's the ultimate. You're, you're getting, uh, even from some of the set-piece chances we got, you're thinking we should be working the goalkeeper here. We're getting into really good positions, um, attacking the ball really well, good deliveries, and it's just obviously that fully uh, final part in terms of working the goalkeeper. A um, little bit frustrated with that, but look, as I said right from the off, and I said to the players right at the end there that, that second half was obviously really the response that I wanted to see in terms of getting after Switzerland, being really aggressive and showing that we can match these teams and compete with these teams and cause them lots of problems. And just lastly, on that topic, the fact that you couldn't work the goalkeeper a bit more, is that down to a lack of quality among the players on the pitch or is it something else? No, I, I, look, we were, to see the areas we were getting into and uh, a little bit of, it's just a little bit of, in terms of composure at that right time to find that right uh, pass, the decision making in terms of can you slip your mate in or can you work it onto the right side, can you control it, is it the time to take an extra touch, find your mate, um, that was that was the frustration bit but ultimately as I mentioned you hold your hands up too in terms of Switzerland in that first 30 minutes were really dominant, really aggressive and we had to stand up to that, we did and obviously when you think of the goal they scored it was frustrating too because look we watched the back Dara and Dara and Nathan obviously I saw how angry they were at half time too with the referee to say that Dara's obviously stopped and the lad's gone over um, so look but still we can defend the free kick better it was a well worked set piece from them too you'd say but we'd be hopeful of stopping that as well John uh, just pointing back to the that, that chance for the yeah, well, ultimately, yeah, but that's where you hope the referee realizes when there's contact and not. As I suppose that's the that's the key bit there. Yeah, you could argue Dara should have stayed in his feet, but Dara pulled his leg away um, to obviously not make contact. So it's a it's a frustrating one. But look, as I mentioned, you have to. Uh, hold your hands up sometimes. Switzerland were dominating the game. We were obviously frustrated in terms of that because we wanted to be aggressive. We wanted to be dominating like we were in the second half. And we did work it out. We got it, figured it out. But unfortunately, they obviously took that free kick, a well-worked set piece away. Sammy put another good shift down the right um, in the first half, especially. <coughs> All the places going, going down the right, you see if you get much joy down the left. Were you tempted to make a, a change earlier in that scenario, or were you, I suppose, bored by the strong finish of the first half? Um, in what sense to change, Sammy? To just you know, in time, the change, I suppose, of uh, doing something on the left side with Robbie and, and Mikey not necessarily uh, 
Yeah, uh, well, look, that just happens sometimes in a game in terms of you see obviously the damage that Mikey's been causing towards the left hand side um, in his recent club form, too. So that's the area you're hoping that Mikey's going to be able to pick the ball up, combine link, whether it be with Robbie or Evan. That's the kind of tall process there. Uh, John, if you had a, another game next week after the second half performance, would you be tempted to start Ida and Ferguson together next time? Yeah, uh, look, you'd be tempted to, but also, you know, you, you, you're figuring out who you're playing against as well. Um, obviously, the rotations in terms of Adam uh, going more as a central striker and Evan dropping in around the area in behind, that's like more natural for Evan than Adam. So that just came um, the organisation for the second half because you're wanting to get the, you're realising Adam is obviously a threat and that's what we were looking to do. You saw that obviously changes we made to get more threat on the pitch to get more chance to pin Switzerland back. And Adam's physicality was a key part in that. I know you just said in the television interview, we'll see what happens with regards to the permanent gig. You're certainly not taking your hat out of the ring, let's say. <laughs> it's, look, it's, uh, it's, as I've mentioned before, it's only gave me a taste for more, whether that be with Ireland or with club football or whatever the case may be in terms of, but this is a, an answer I was given five, six years ago in terms of when I become a manager or the chance to become a manager, that, that's what I was planning to do in terms of having that process of learning assistant roles and then to take a managerial role. And look, it's something I've obviously loved every minute of and been uh, been fully engrossed with it. And as I mentioned, it's just annoying that we didn't get a win in either of the two games. Yeah. I can ask you about James. Mm. Uh, Two 90 minutes in space of 70 mm. hours. Were you, were you expecting that from him? Did you know he was capable of that? I was, yeah, you'd have a little bit of it. Not after the first game. Yeah. Not after the first game. Once I saw what he did in the first game, I was fully convinced uh, he'd be okay for the full, full uh, whole. And obviously, I had that in mind in terms of uh, dropping Seamus back down into the kind of centre back role as well to kind of help. Uh, the organisation side of things and obviously get the experience of Doc on as well, Matt Doherty, so it um, it worked well and look, there was never a doubt once I saw Seamus play the first game. Was that an energy Jeremy chucked back towards the dugout? I, I think it was, but I didn't give it to him, so I don't know <laughs> I don't know who did throw it out to him, So, but I just saw him throw it back. Finally, Dave, in the lot. John, are you of a mind to ask the FBI now that you be considered for the job full-time? Um, I think that's something that we'll obviously discuss la later on, but for me the full focus was, look, the two games, um, enjoy the moment in terms of learn from it, really understand it, um, learn about myself in terms of how I cope with the situation with the games um, and learn do I want to do it more. And look, the, it's emphatic answer for me will be yes, but where that is, Let's uh, let's wait and see. Not now, a bit of flavour maybe. Not now. You don't think now? Is that your instinct saying not now? Well, not, well, no. You're saying that. Yeah. No, I'm <coughs> asking you, what's your instinct? Is it? My instinct would be I'm ready, more than ready and capable to be a manager. Dressing room four for the pink.